So we just uh, basically finished the first race of the year in the FIA World Rallycross Championship, literally less than less than three hours ago. Yeah. And uh, now we are gonna try to not get killed for the next couple of days. No, it's time for some real action. Some real action, yeah. That's what you call it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need a helmet. Yeah. We need a suit. True. We need a rib protector. And Toby, I fixed it all together with a guy called Mick. You will see him later. By the way, we're going to Italy and Bergamo. So we made it to, uh, to Italy. Yeah. Are we gonna meet a crazy guy or what? I think this is probably one of the coolest trips of my life. What yeah, you're looking forward to it? You know, when I was a kid, I dreamt yeah. about some things and uh, some I did never manage. I wanted to go to Italy. I wanted to be like a factory driver in, for a car team. That was a dream of mine. Now you have a chance. We're yeah. going to do karting. That's next up on the list. And you know, we are not only going to do karting, we are going to be... No, no, no. 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 We are going to be factory drivers, man. For a week, at least. It's Mick, he's gonna pick us up. He's from uh, the energy karting team. He's a guy full of energy. We need some. We need some. After our long race weekend, our heads are shafted, as uh, Matthias would have said. And uh, we we'll get the pizza from him, he promised. The be oh. best pizzeria tonight. Italiano, si. Si. Ciao. So yeah, where is it? That's the man, that's the man. Hey, buonasera! Ciao! Hey! Buonasera! Sì, taxi? No. Taxi, why taxi? Real karting cars, you know? We, need, weekend. we need some new plastic and body parts. Already! Andreas is the biggest bag. Stop Ciao! Okay. Ciao! No, no, it's okay. What a service! So, a lot of downforce in the new bumper. Yes, maybe one you need for Peter Solberg after this weekend. <laughs> 10 points. We go to a pizza place, yeah? Yeah, of course, very good one. Uh, a yeah. very good one. The best one, I hope. Ah. It smells good. First impression of Italy, uh, Mr. Extra. Ham, mozzarella. He cannot complain, uh, you know? Italian restaurant, wine, mozzarella and prosciutto crudo. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Main course, pizza. Now a top secret. Top secret. In the middle of the night, somewhere in Bergamo. I, 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 the, the thing is, before we head in, you know, we are um, drivers that are factory drivers. Normally we are not allowed to film inside a factory. Do you think we are allowed to film in this factory? We are for sure allowed to film. Uh, it's right. midnight session. Yeah. Yeah, this is your car. Hey, this is mine, yeah? Here's yours. The rental. Yeah. Oh, Have a look, oh. Andreas! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Matthias, you look like a kid on Christmas Eve. Christmas I know which <laughs> number I prefer. Have a look, have a look. Turn the camera, Andreas! <laughs> bum, bum. Bum. Start good. the cut like this with the hand? Yeah, you need to be strong enough. Are you strong enough? Yes. Yeah. First thing I saw, I saw you put the leg in the seat. You don't do that anymore. <laughs> with authorization, you cannot jump on this go -kart. True. So, now these days, you put the feet here. Exactly. And and then you put it there sit down. and then sit down. When I drove it's 15 years ago. Yeah. Or you need to put feet here, not here in the middle, otherwise you break everything. True. So on the bolt you cannot? No, on the bolt you can, not in the middle, otherwise you break everything. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Almost perfect. I have a space even for the rim protector. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you need to think about this because if you don't go without the protector, <laughs> I will die. <laughs> the time is 12.23, past midnight. People go to party, we have opened <laughs> the yeah. game shop. <laughs> <laughs> Mick, until tomorrow. Ciao. Ciao. We go to the hotel. There's a hotel for tonight. So after a good night of sleep, Matthias for sure he went wake up uh, at 7 a.m. I'm dead tired. We do that again. 
So day two, we woke up early, predicted from Matthias. We are ready to do some karting today. Just working on a chassis right now and getting everything ready. And we're gonna have to, to eat some breakfast with Mick. And then it's time to, to do some proper driving. Again, you look like a, a kid in Christmas Eve. Oh, you know what? I arranged go-karts. Yeah. The first thing Andreas asked, do they have a lap time system? I need to know who's the fastest. <laughs> so our mechanic is now installing two lap timer systems. So there's no discussion who's the fastest. Mm. Normally, Swedish people only eat porridge for breakfast, but we're in Italy. This is the place. <laughs> this is a place for a snack room. Snack Look how the Italians park. In Sweden, you don't park in front of the sign. <laughs> When you are the Italian Mafia, then it's okay. <laughs> Normally we go Audi, but this time our shuttle driver, he had a BMW. So we need to convince Mick to change car. <laughs> Breakfast in Italy, top notch. Very different from Scandinavia. So Matthias, I think we changed the plans a little bit, right? Oh, we need to recover a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why we wear sunglasses. <laughs> so we always aim very high and if we don't reach the goals, we <laughs> we anyway end up high, <laughs> you know? So uh, the plan changed. Uh, we were supposed to drive in Lonato today. Uh, the day had uh, already been going on and have been passing a bit. So yeah, we have a long drive to Munich as well. Today we was loading the new chassis we got from Mick. Tomorrow we're gonna hopefully get all the other equipment <laughs> we need. Because nice. we are, today we are newbies. Tomorrow nice. we are one step closer to be, become professional yeah. karting exactly. athletes. Big yeah. thanks Mick. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any advice for us? Yeah, go do a lot of training. Yeah. And when you're ready, we can do the first race in the racing team. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Good luck for the next season. <laughs> ciao, guys. Ciao. So the first couple of corners, Traki. Yeah, already uh, good. Your first part of EKS uh, training camp. Try not to die. You need to uh, learn the sizes of big cars, and uh, we start with uh, Matthias's uh, private camper. All the time when I'm with my own motorhome, I'm not allowed to drive it by myself because I don't have the driving license. On typical holidays, it's hiding, and now on uh, EKS uh, do or die camp. It's Andreas who is the driver. Where are we going now, Andreas? Now we're going to Desensano del Garda where we go to the karting track in Italy in Lunato to buy rib tag for Matthias because uh, I think that's needed. If he say so. All right, shopping done. Next up, München. All right, so today it's uh, 11. It's been a good day. It's a good day. Yeah, we have been driving some camper, camper life. Matthias is going home, see the family, and I'm gonna sleep here. Good night. Good night. Good night. So day two on the Try Not To Day uh, training camp. But right now we are trying to organize our mess. Building a car team in 24 <laughs> hours. That's not easy, I can tell you. No, we are loaded and ready in the, the Audi SQ7. SQ7. Matthias's family car, we have the trailer in the back and we are ready to launch. So, next up is the go-kart track. Now, look around you. Paradise. Paradise. For kids like us. Oh yeah. Yeah, still here. Still here. Number 13 and number 5. EKS Energy Course on the racetrack for the first time, well done. The cars are shining, so uh, right now we're just gonna run in the new engines, fill everything up with water and uh, get going. Should be good. I'm tired <laughs> we have, before we started. We have work to do. 
What tire pressure do we run? <laughs> I think they said white Vega, that should be around 0 0.5 to 0 0.6. We're gonna run in the engine, so we go for 0 0.62. <laughs> Run in the engine, have fun. First outing for Matthias in the energy course. Here we go. Yep. Whoa. så helst att vi är så jämna. Det här är manligt bra. Men nu... Little did I know that I will be eating kebab with Mathias Ekström. At the go-kart track. What did you order? What you said. <laughs> I don't know how I, how I managed to convince Mathias to come here, but uh, I'm happy. I want to watch my elbow. Yeah. It, it doesn't look so bad, but it feels worse. It's a little bit tired. But I can say I've had an awesome day here at the awesome. Amfing Karting. Amfing. Amfing Kart Center. It's been uh, mega. The new energy has been working perfectly. First we run in the new TM engines. Then after that we tried to do lap by lap. After that <laughs> there was no powder left in the machinery. Or what? Here. When I'm gonna move to Germany to München then I think we're gonna do even more. So yeah. So Matthias why do you do karting? Stay young. Stay have young. fun and uh, keep my reflexes alive. Do you think you can become a better driver doing some karting? Yes. Yeah. Every day because the precision you need in karting I think is unlike in any other motorsport because it happens fast and you have to do a very precise moment and movements. And I also think that you learn to use your body as a part of the car and to feel the forces. That means you're a bit like the damper and the spring in the whole machinery because it's all flexing a lot. So learning to feel the forces, learning to compensate and feel when you do things right. Feel it through your whole body. When you make it wrong, you feel it as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But the shifter carts are so hard to drive, but we, we managed to drive quite fast yesterday, I think. I, I, was, I was happy with my lap time, the best ones, but the problem is it doesn't last so long. <laughs> I run out of energy pretty yeah. fast. But we are having a lot of fun, and uh, so yeah, I'm uh, blue like never before, and I think for all kids and uh, 
young drivers or old drivers, if you guys want to have a career, karting I think is the cheapest and best and most efficient way to grow as a driver, to be more complete. It's always good to have karting in the background. You get a very good feeling of stuff when you drive go-kart, so I would highly recommend it. Tired? Oh, I have this bruise in my hand. Good. Matthias, I can't describe you how tired I am right now. <laughs> I did the last hit, I did probably 20, 22 laps. I'm finito finale and I have a flight to catch in a couple of hours. So I think we call it a day. It's a wrap. Until next time, flat out.